Hi there, Heidi Jacobs from Slap Stuff Together and today I'm putting together some ornaments. Right now they're cooking in the oven so I can't really show you the final result yet. Probably should have thought ahead there. But I just wanted to throw an intro together so you understood what I was doing because we've already done an ornament video. If you didn't watch it already, it's in our playlist down below. And this one is more for Make It Self, who's been putting together 12 days of Christmas decorations, or Christmas craft, she calls it. So, really excited to show Soph one of the things that my mom used to do for friends and family when I was a kid. step to this project is picking out some clay and picking out your scene or what your theme of your bulb is going to be. I chose Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the claymation series from Christmas because it's one of my all-time favorite things for Christmas. So the only thing with these bulbs is when you're picking these up, you need to make sure the mouth opening for the bulb at the top, which I'll show you in a second, this is big enough for you to sculpt little figures and put them down in. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling up this with your seam. And you don't want the hole to be too small because then you're gonna to have to sculpt really, really, really miniature items to get down in there. If you've never worked with Sculpey before, there are a couple of things that you should probably know. <laughs> the first is, is that it's very oily and it doesn't take long for it to get to be a bit too pliable. And what I mean is, is like it just kind of starts sticking to your fingers and kind of gets everywhere and if you're using multiple colors it can kind of impact that by spreading into colors you may not want. Like if you're using a lot of white and black you're not going to want to start with the black because your fingers are going to be covered in it and then you're going to get the black contaminants into the white. So um, start with your lightest colors and then work with your darker colors to do the shaping unless like your whole piece is a dark piece then if you're going to use highlights and things with the lighter colors then you can do that but um, make sure you wash your hands in between colors because um, it does get on your skin and then transfers over into especially the white and the yellow.
for inspiring this project and to my husband for being patient with me while I try and work in this really, really tiny format. And thank you everyone for such a great year in this community of makers. I can't believe we're part of it. It's so much fun. Uh, have a great holiday. Have a happy new year. And by all means, don't be afraid to slap some stuff together. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You're really helpful. Thanks. <laughs>